Alright, I get it. You guys really, really like that video. And, um, yeah, as many of you pointed out, I'd have something to admit about it. It's trash! It's absolutely trash! Why, why do you even like- So today I'm gonna be rectifying my mistake by going back over every single scene in the game. And today we're going to be starting with part 3, Stardust Crusaders. Before we begin though, uh, did you know that only 0.1% of you are subscribed? I, 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 no, seriously, like, look, look at this picture. What, what are you doing? SUBSCRIBE NOW! Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's look at YBA's interpretations of the first ever Sans and JoJo. Nanorina. Nawa Chaka. Meikai no kami anubis o anji to suru stand o tsukai. Oh boy. Alright, starting off with a real doozy. Anubis mains will always run the stand because of its near TOD combo, which shouldn't probably in the be- oh, yeah, I'm just kidding, it got removed. <laughs> Despite how easy the stand is to play, it also has quite a high skill ceiling, which lends itself to literal gods being able to play the game with the stand. Most people who play the stand are kind of toxic and sweaty, but there's a few good eggs among the rotten ones. If you cosplay with the stand, I respect you, but um... Let's be real, I, I don't think anyone's going to admire your cosplay when you're matching in 1v1s. Cream users typically just enjoy the simple things in life, because cream is a very simple stand. You have three moves, and that's really all you need. Your strategy revolves around wasting the opponent's dashes, and then countering them for it. It's a bit lame, but playing lame wins games. You're also not toxic in 1v1s. Probably. You enjoy running. No, seriously, like, you really enjoy running. That's literally the entire point of the stand. You're also probably scared that Uzu is going to nerf you again in the next update. Which, let's be real, it probably should get a nerf considering it's one of the hardest stands to counter in the game. If you use this in SBR, you're definitely going to be toxic and spamming easy when you gank people. And if you use this in 1v1s, you're probably more calm and relaxed. Remember when I said Hermit Purple was annoying? Let's play that by like tenfold with this stand. You probably think you're really good at the game for not using the meta, but in reality, this stand is probably just as broken as every other meta stand. And don't even get me started on Hamon and Pluck, Hierophant Green having a near TOD combo with this monster. I do not respect you if you use HG, and this is why. But, other than your choice of stand, you're probably a good person. Also, I think you like the green MN- Oh my gosh, look guys, it's the funny game season! <laughs> ah, it's so funny! Please, stop making that joke, it hurts my soul! If someone who doesn't like to think a lot, as this stand can do absurdly well by just smashing buttons. It's not your fault Uzi only gave you four moves, though. Ah, uh, yes. One of the more flashy stands of YBA. SC mains are actually really caring and outgoing like Polnareff, and are probably at least half decent at the game. Unless you try using that vampire infinite combo, then you're just stupid. Regardless, I respect you for using this underrated stand. <laughs> You're one of the more basic players that play this game, preferring a more streamlined experience over one that's specifically fun. Luckily for you, Star Platinum achieves both of those things. Granted, it's probably not fun for your opponent to get star fingered from 15 feet away, but who cares, right? If you aren't a win trader, you are scary! People seem to underestimate this stand a lot, and you take full advantage of that. You also probably like experimenting with the game and seeing what you can come up with. You're tactical, conniving, and are always learning from your mistakes. That's gonna be all for this video, so again, if you like it, 
make sure to subscribe and like the video. And also comment if um, you have anything to say about it. Other than that, uh, that's all from me. Ciao.